Good evening, uh, folks. This is JW Solar USA. As you guys can see, um, I'm just gonna show you guys. Um, since we have this bad winter uh, winter storm, and we tend to have problems, uh, a lot of snow, and um, we can't. I can't able to bring the batteries the way they should be. Well, folks, I have to tap into the grid so I can charge my batteries. So, right here is my right here is my Outback FX 3048. It's taking care of business right now. So as you guys can see, the green light is on. That means um, there is a uh, full and there is a uh, orange status there that tells you the AC in is on. So I'm buying power from the grid right now charging the battery bank. So folks, Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. This is modern nature. I can I can bypass this. I can I can do anything with uh to destroy my battery. So I can't take that risk. I can't take that risk at this time, so I decided to tap the uh to the grid and I will bring up my batteries. So I'm showing you the way I'm doing it right now. And if, as you guys can see right now, here, on the inverter, this is all we made today. Well, with all that snow, if you guys can follow um, the, the videos I posted, you guys can see all the series there. And you see I was struggling with the power. But anyway... We did pretty good today. Uh, the past couple of days was just like a hundred watt, so 0 0.3, 0 0.2 uh, um, kilowatt hours, which is 200 watt. So I can give you here. That's what we put into the batteries today. Just about five amps. See that? And we had a peak of a 0 0.6 kilowatt peak right there. And the max, no, we got a zero ninety four volt peak, and we have a one point two amp peak. So we have a total of five amps today at a two hundred watt. You can see right now, point two. So that's what the system is doing. Currently, if you look in here. Well, we put in a 23.7 amps back to the battery since I'm buying power from the grid to charge my batteries. My batteries are sitting at uh, uh, 270 amp hours as I speak. And it's at 89%. Earlier was um, 81 so about nine, eight percent we already add into that. So if you look at here, here is the mate. This is what the mate is telling you. I'm buying, I'm buying 1400 watt from the grid. So I made, uh, uh, today is 0 0.2 kilowatt hours. You can see it's a CC charge controller. Now it's telling us the FX total is uh, 56.1. So we're charging the batteries right now at 1400 watts. This thing can charge 1400 watts. My char my inverter is a 30. My, uh, sorry, my Outback FlexMac. Sorry, my Outback um, FX 3048 MT. It has a 30 amp. Uh, charger built-in charger into that device if you guys can see the mate right there it's telling you that I'm buying 1400 watt from the grid 
which is it cost me about eight cents a kilowatt okay eight cents for thousand watt so um, it cost me less so I can charge my batteries in less than nothing and uh, instead of me destroying my batteries I can take that risk or whatever it is to buy the power from the grid just about a few I don't want to do that but I gotta it doesn't cost me that much so if the batteries are charged I'm just gonna go back into the batteries and start using them again which is uh, now what I've spent um, it's not gonna be even about probably it's not gonna cost me about <laughs> 25 cents either so folks this is the system and this is what um, the system is doing right now as we um, charge in the batteries with the inverter right there bringing some power in from the AC right there and all the way taking care of business here currently as it goes the amps gonna be dropping is pushing more volts so it's pushing at 23.4 amps at 1400 watt we buying here's the system here's the hub so the um, the outback right here is connected to the hub okay and from the hub this is just like a router okay when you have a router for your um, your internet, so you have the modem, and you have the, uh, the 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 router. So it's just like a router. So you have all kind of four ports right there. The newer version has a ten, so it's indicated right there. But the thing is, uh, it's only ha has a four port. And it says a mate two, mate one, so it only all about mate one right there. So the this one, the outback right here connects to the hub. This guy here connects to the hub as well. It has a port right there in front of it. You can see this black wire. Black wire right here coming. This is the temperature sensor wire, the grid one. That attached to the batteries as well and it connects to the hub and from the hub the output the output from the hub comes to the mate so that's how it's, um, uh, the, the device is connected so the mate now is the one reading gives you um, is the reads from the communication right here the communication hub and it tells you everything over there what the the, the, the inverter is doing and what the um, and what the charge controller is doing so for um, the classic I cannot put the classic into the hub I know someone probably will ask me that question but I can I, you can do that okay the uh, um, the classic has uh, it's, a, um, it's a local app that is connected to which it has a wire down there somewhere attached to the computer so I can able to see what's going on if I don't want to look at the Whizbang Jr. here so it's telling you they say the CC right there is a 56.4 that's charge controller the FX is the uh, inverter so everything is connected everything is wired everything is talking to each other this guy is the one the display seeing what's going on the communication here that talks to the uh the fx 3048 inverter and the outback flex max 60 here that's how everything works but my system as i uh as i was telling you guys my system don't sell back so that's why i don't have the mate 3. the mate 3 tend to let you sell okay that feature um the uh, mate here 
has the, the, the same features on it if you want to sell power. Okay, it's there. But some new inverters don't let you use um, the Mate 2. Okay, so now you see, because since we're um, getting power from the grid, that's why we have a, a orange color, which is the amber color on there, and the inverter is gonna stay off. But the light is off, but it doesn't mean it's not working. It, it works, but the thing is, since it, it, the inverter is built with an automatic transfer switch, so let me say, as I speak, and uh, the power goes out, okay? The power goes out, this device right here will switch automatically. So I don't need a transfer switch like other people uh, does. You know, other people have to buy another um, extra transfer switch. I don't need that. My system can do it automatically without uh, uh, automatic transfer switch. It's built in on that device. This is the reason why I bought it. And this is the reason why I liked it because if I want to put it in a mobile system, let me say uh, I have a, a, a mobile home or something, I can put this one there. It, it, it's grounded too. So the way you connect this, that's going to be in the next video. I'll tell you guys how to work this thing out. It's kind of complicated uh, device if you don't know what you're doing. Or else it's not going to work for you. It's not going to charge your batteries at all. But so far so good. The device is working. And um, um, if the power goes out, like right now, and it will switch automatically back to the batteries. So right now I'm on AC. I'm on the grid because I'm taking power to charge the batteries. Even if the, the, the inverter was, every, all the load was on the batteries. But uh, since now I'm buying power back to the grid, it's not it's not taken from the batteries at all. It goes direct. It takes from the AC, so all the load is kind of routed into on, into the outlet onto uh, the sub panel right there. You know, that's a disconnect right there from for the AC, and that's the sub panel right there. Breakers are in there, so it, 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 you know it's powering direct from the AC so my all my devices are all back on AC as soon as the power goes out or maybe I decided to shut down the breaker automatically you would never notice that it's it's just you can't even see a blink at all there's no blink everything is just gonna transition right away within a millisecond you can't even see a blink so everything runs smoothly, no blink, no interruption, TV, computer, even sensitive uh, sensitive uh, uh, machines, they work perfectly without any interruption. So I just want to give you guys a quick roundup. I might probably do another video and explain um, about the uh, wiring into the FX3048 and see. And now we're charging right now. And this guy, you see that just like a turtle back this guy has a big fan right there is a turbo that turbo fan don't turn on unless this heat sink is really hot it's getting warm though and after that it's gonna kick in when it kicks in there's a light in there oh i don't know if you can see that there's a it's off right now but you can see the light was it's gonna indicate it's gonna come on that tells you the turbo light is on and you can see here according to the diagram it has a temperature uh, temperature sensor battery temp and you see mate hub so it's just like an Ethernet so it doesn't matter cat 5 cat 6 according to the manual it says a cat um, cat 5 but cat 6 can it just pass through no difference at all so you can use a cat 6 if you have cat 6 is the most recent technology instead of cat 5 anyway but folks the system is bringing back the batteries up and the batteries were, still, were on 81 percent but I don't just want to take a, any chance at all so now you see uh, heading up to 90 percent we're bringing 23 amps 
from the grid 1400 watts from the grid and we are doing pretty good here well anyway folks I don't get this video too long it's already uh, um, 1741 hundred hours live here from Minnesota JW Solar USA I hope you enjoyed the tour of my system and uh, you see the hub is flashing right there is showing you all the communication that things are talking to each other everything is working and the battery some people probably someone will ask me so how will you know the battery is already charged so it has a, ba a battery temperature sensor that uh, senses the battery just like with the one you use for your charge controller the Outback uh, Flexmax 60 has a, a, a temperature sensor attached to the batteries on a um, on, on few of the other batteries and uh, Classic has a temperature sensor with Wizbank Junior you know they attach to the battery and the uh, inverter the Outback FX 3048 has a, a, a temperature sensor attached to the battery so all of them monitoring the, 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 the batteries at the same time so that they can get too hot and maybe get overcharged or start uh, boiling which is not gonna boil but now I can see never seen the temperature went up to that but the heater is on in the house so it says a uh, 72.7 